$15 billion worth company and India's largest e-commerce firm. There's lot to talk about it. It's history, finance, awards, criticism and much more. Let's start with its origin. Chin Bansil and Bini Bansil, both alumni of Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, founded the company in 2007. Having an experience of work in Amazon, they both left to create their new company as Flipkart Online Service Private Limited. Sachin, in an interview, said, Starting Flipkart is the most ridiculous thing he has ever done. Continuing, he said, The idea itself is not new. The thought to set up Flipkart came from the bad quality services provided by competitors. They first started as an online book retailer. The first product they sold was the book Leaving Microsoft to Change the World to a customer from Hyderabad. Initially, they had spent Rs 4 lakh only for making website to set up their business. They later raised funding from venture capital funds like Excel India and Tiger Global. The graph went up from self-invested 4 lakh to 100,000 crore. That's more than the value of Tata Motors which is 95,000 crore. So what makes it worth more than a well-known car manufacturer? In short, the connectivity. Not only Flipkart, apps based firm like Ola, Snapdeal, Flipkart, Redbus, Foodpanda, they connect service providers with consumer cutting the middleman. Small town buyers who don't have a physical store to pick up a pair of branded jeans or a set of Bluetooth speaker can do so through an e-commerce site. And they can be assured of delivery the next day. Flipkart has its own in-house product like Digiflip which launched a set of tablet and mobile phone in July 2014. In the words of Sachin Bansal, Motorola tied up with Flipkart for exclusive launch of Moto G in India. They were launching the product in India before the rest of the world. I would count that as an achievement for the e-commerce. Flipkart also acquired few companies like Mintra.com, Let's Buy.com, etc. In September 2015, Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal entered Forbes India Rich List, debuting at the 86th position with a net worth of $1.3 billion each. Co-founder of Flipkart, Sachin Bansal got Entrepreneur of Year Award 2012-2013 from Economic Times. On 6 October 2014, Flipkart launched a promotion called Big Billion Day with the intention to increase the popularity of their website by targeting a billion sale in one day. Even though Flipkart achieved the target, it widely spread criticism among consumers, competitors and partners, heavily damaging its reputation. Many users could not place order because of high server load and error which led to frustration among customers. Many users who placed order received emails stating that their orders were cancelled. After this, Flipkart received mass criticism on their subject of net neutrality after they announced partnership with Airtel to use the Airtel Zero platform which would have made the Flipkart app free for the Airtel users. Flipkart has eventually outrun its difficulties. It's still among the world's 10 most valuable startups. It ranks 114 globally and 7th nationally in terms of traffic. Ending with a quote from the co-founders Sachin and Bini Bansal, Don't start out alone. It helps to have a co-founder when things are not going your way. You have not done your job well until you find a stranger who is willing to open his or her wallet to give money for the service or products that you are offering. Thank you for watching. Do like and share the video. Also subscribe to the channel. Do try to suggest the topic for the next video in the comment section. Thank you and see you the next time.